Hi, Jim Hebel with Bedecker Plastics. Today's topic is moisture absorption and how it relates to the stability of a plastic part. Polymer components can absorb moisture from their surrounding environment. This can include parts that are fully submerged in water or even parts just sitting in a storeroom waiting to be put in service. In this case, simply the humidity from the air can be a source of moisture absorption. Understanding the moisture absorption of a plastic is important because moisture uptake can affect a component's mechanical properties, its wear properties, and its dimensions. Of course, some polymers absorb very little moisture and other polymers can absorb quite a lot. One of the biggest concerns with moisture absorption in polymers is how that increase in moisture will affect the dimensions of a finished part. Imagine a precision polymer part with tight tolerance dimensions. Many extreme plastics require dimensions of plus or minus one thousandths of an inch or sometimes tighter. Even the slightest bit of moisture absorption can cause a machined or injection molded part like this to swell just enough to cause dimensions to fall out of tolerance. Plastic manufacturers test their materials for moisture absorption using test method ASTM D570. This test determines the relative rate of absorption by water when a plastic is immersed. How is this test conducted? Well, it's not exactly that simple, but it's pretty close. First, the test samples are dried to a steady state and weighed. This sets their baseline. Then the samples are submerged in 23 degrees Celsius water for 24 hours. The parts are then removed from the water, weighed and measured, and then placed back into the water until full saturation is obtained. The absorption amount is reported as a percentage of weight gain. On a material data sheet, you can often find both the 24 hour absorption value and the absorption value to saturation, both as a percentage of weight gained. For finished machined or molded parts, a material with less than 1% moisture gain at saturation is often considered very stable and rarely affects part dimensions. However, materials with say 1%, certainly 2%, or even more moisture can result in enough dimensional movement to create concerns for a designer or user. Nylon is considered a very common general engineered thermoplastic great for bearing and wear applications. One of the Achilles heels of nylon is that it will absorb up to 7% moisture by weight to saturation. For a nylon seal like this, full saturation of moisture can mean several thousandths of an inch of growth due to swelling. This can even occur with the seal simply stored in an environment where there is some humidity. For applications that don't require tight tolerances, say plus or minus ten thousandths of an inch, moisture absorption really is not an issue. For a backup seal such as this oil-filled nylon, a few thousandths growth is probably not a concern. However, for more precision machined or molded parts, a designer should choose a material that is more stable with less moisture absorption. These two parts here are both fabricated from peak based polymers which have moisture absorption to saturation levels of only about 0.5 percent. You can see the features on these parts. Both have some intricate machining requirements. These have tolerances of plus or minus one thousandths of an inch. Because these parts are made from a more stable material option like peak, moisture really is not an issue. However, Here's a part made out of Torlon, polyamid imid, PAI. This part has very fine features that require extremely tight tolerances. It may look like a solid part, but when I get it close, you can see very small holes with a very fine pitch between the holes. This material Torlon will absorb up to 1.7% moisture to saturation. 1.7% moisture may not sound like a lot. However, for a part like this, that 1.7% moisture uptake is enough to cause this part to exceed tolerance. Imagine the scenario of a machine shop making this part, 
Then it gets shipped to the customer, it gets put on a storeroom shelf, and when it can, gets time to put this part in service, the user discovers that the part grew and it's no longer within tolerance and thus cannot be used. The best way to avoid this situation is to properly package any critical tolerance plastic parts by vacuum sealing them in a moisture impermeable layer or packaging them with bags of desiccant. This will prevent part swelling due to moisture uptake, particularly in humid environments. Both moisture absorption and CLTE, the coefficient of linear thermal expansion, dictate how stable a material is and what kind of tolerances can be held on finished parts. Make sure to review your manufacturer's material data sheets to find these properties and compare them with other material options you may be considering. Please reach out if you have any questions on moisture absorption or part tolerancing. We look forward to helping. Contact us with your plastic or composite sheet, rod, tube, or custom profile requirements. Give us a call. Quotes are free. We look forward to hearing from you.